the New Orleans Saints taking on the Seattle Seahawks. Well, folks, it is always a celebration here in New Orleans, and we are just outside of the Hoppin' French Quarter at the Caesar Superdome. Today, we've got a good Week 5 matchup in store here between the Seattle Seahawks and the New Orleans Saints. out of the field. play action here on first down and the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete and that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball not the man winning coverage that'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties and he's able to knock that one away it's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble and now it's third down they'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down flush to his right and he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. But nowhere to throw it, decided to scramble, and a nice job, CD. Got the yardage that he needed. Yeah, and his teammates are certainly going to appreciate that effort, even if his coaches don't, because they would have wanted him to slide and protect himself. But he chose team gain over personal protection. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And now a hook up downfield on second down. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a gain of 34. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. And a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now it's Carson. And he gets this down to the 18, good enough for a first down. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now he's got it. Touchdown, Seahawks. Freddie Swain, his second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. As a former defender, I would be angry as well. Could not get off the field. Well-executed offensive drive. No matter what the defense tried, they couldn't stop them. is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He had the touchdown pass on their previous drive, and they'll search for another score as they begin here with a first and ten. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. 
partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. Here's second and eight. This is the tight end fan. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 19. 23 yards to pick up there. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two short. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked in ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. number one in the league in touchdown passes just through number 20 on that last drive and they start here with a first down they'll start out on the ground with Carson and some room to roam now and he'll go out near midfield at the 49 good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first out of the gun they'll look to throw Shifts by him, and he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Second and five. Completes it to Fant on the right side. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. On play action, they'll throw. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone... Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Here we go on second and 12. Flushed out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. Eluding the pressure right. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 33 yards that time. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So that changes things. Here's first and 10 all the way up at the 45. This is Carson. And this will be a Seahawks first down as good running gets him to about the 44. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. 
After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. He's going to try and go deep again. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. Or oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open book beyond. Coming up in prime time here in week five, a couple of division rivalries on the docket beginning tonight in the AFC North with the Bengals and Ravens from Baltimore at 820 Eastern. Then tomorrow, Monday night football, Raiders and Chiefs from Arrowhead in the AFC West. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This is fans. Oh, what a catch. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down now, but that clock rolling. He'll let this go for the end zone. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DK Metcalf with his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Seahawks will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that, that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. So here are the Seahawks ready to take over on offense. They're working on a four-game winning streak, and they lead this one as well right now as they start first and ten. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So pass interference, the call there, always, obviously, Charles, such a subjective call. You agree with the penalty? Well, from where we're standing right now, I think the officials are tightening things up here in the second half. Maybe a defender gets away with that in the first, but this time the flag comes out, and I think it's a good call. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Quick throw, and that's Eskridge on the slant. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Now back to throw. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front. There's prepared for him to try and take off. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Let's give this defense some credit now. They let the guys get downfield. But when push came to shove, they stood their ground. And now they're likely for end zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. D. Eskridge from four yards out. And the Seahawks take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because 
you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Here he is, the man taking the snaps under center, heading out for the next possession. He has been on his A game. We're in the third quarter. He's already in search of touchdown pass number five. He's played so well that it's hard for me to take my eyes off of him, even when he's not on the field. I keep finding my eyes finding him on the bench in between series, wondering what he's going to do next. This has been a blast to watch him. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. It's a great throw right there and really showed a lot of confidence in his receiver. He certainly did. Ball was in the air a long time, but he counted on the adjustment that we saw near the end of the play. As that ball was descending, who was going to come down with it? He counted on his guy, and he gambled correctly. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Well, that's complete to Swain. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Now a second down and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Catch is made by Metcalf. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They run it with Carson. And they'll get him down right around the 16. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Steps away. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some 9 yards and a first. Here's Carson. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Chris Carson, his seventh rushing touchdown of the year as his guys are able to extend their lead. a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession really solid effort for him right now third quarter already four touchdown passes how many can he get here that remains to be seen but i know one thing you and i'll be here to watch and i'm not going anywhere <laughs> with what he's doing in this contest i'm not i'm not missing a minute of it this guy's been spectacular yeah, i mean it's a team game but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch yeah sometimes they just kind of come to the front despite the fact as you said we know it's all about the team but the way he's playing he's trying to make his team win on his back yeah it's been exciting able to slither by and he's going to be out up around the 45 yard line Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. On first down, Carson. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. They go back to Carson here on second. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. The offense on third down. They've hit four of seven. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Now that's a killer because you think you've got it absolutely covered and then he hot puts it out of there and picks up a first down. Drives you crazy as a defense. Looks like you're exactly right. Looked like a for sure stop on third and then the tables turn. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. 
And they're going to get this down inside the 20. It's a big one now. It's a big one. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double-digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Dumps this one off to Chris Carson. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down on the move to his left. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. On the delay, here's Carson. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. They'll look to throw on third and goal. Now he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Dwayne Eskridge, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks add on to their lead, and they are also closing in on a fifth straight victory. A 15-point game now. You make the extra point, and that means on the other side you need two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. That's a pretty tall order here in the fourth quarter. Agreed, because they really needed to come up with a stop there, and even if it was just to hold them to a field goal. Now they need to pull up the lucky horseshoe because they've got to get an onside kick. And we've seen nowadays those are incredibly difficult to come by. And yeah, not to mention they got to get the touchdown and a two-point conversion first. So the celebration in the end zone, but meanwhile, we do have an injured player. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 92 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. They go back to Carson here on second. And he'll scratch out a yard up to the 30, and that's all. And now they're in the hurry up. They run again with Carson. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Well, partner, Marvin just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. And the pressure gets to him again. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. They'll begin the drive with Carson. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. 
So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He's got his tight end fan. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll roll him out right. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. First down, it's Carson at a hard work and run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Oh, they're going to run a little pop pass here. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, this has been another impressive display by this undefeated team, Charles. And it looks like they're going to stay that way after this one. Yeah, one of the league's best offenses. They've stayed on brand in this contest because they continue to look good at what they do. Just added a late touchdown. Now they're really hammering home just how good they've been all year long. Letting the rest of the league take notice. This was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency, not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So for the Seahawks, they improved to 5-0 now on the young season. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for the Saints, the loss will move them back to 3-2 on the year. And they'll be back home next week as they're set to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. Tell me what I gotta do. Pull up in a bucket crew. One for me and one for you. Yeah, like what the fuck is the word? I'm off the chain, don't cut me loose. Yeah, I'm off the chain, I'm off the noose. Yeah, get them picked off Bentley, white like cotton. Residential, so good, my doors don't gotta lock them.
watch the dirty money with oxy. I miss count cause I'm off a Yeah, this bigger than a damn proxy. Call my he said copy. Get that plug like a boogie. I like riches, hit like nookies. You ain't scared of no but you scared to put on your hoodie. Man, my like like woody. I just it off the top. First off, let me talk my Got a couple things I gotta cross off my list. How you insomniac for sleeping on my It's a bad soundtrack. Read the script. Uh, born in the motherland, headed straight down to the south. Tennessee mornings with pops, working three jobs. I knew that they struggled to get it. That's why I wanted to get it. That's embedded. You get it? Treat it like a law. And I'ma need commission for this hit. Lance laid the canvas and I painted over with. I don't need a vision board to show you I'm the I'm betting on myself. Closet was looking real bare. Now I made a deposit, my closet's looking super rare. 